Uh, good evening and a very warm welcome from King's Academy. Uh, thank you for joining us this evening for this transition event. Uh, apologies for the inconvenience uh, and the challenges we've had this evening uh, with regards to the live, the live stream. Um, we've obviously taken the decision to record the event now this evening and, uh, and we'll get that sent out to you. Uh, firstly, my name is Dave Wiltshire and I'm honoured to be head teacher here at King's Academy, a place where students are encouraged to, to thrive through all aspects of their school life as they embark on the next chapter of their education, onwards into year nine and then onwards into King's sixth form. With the current limitations regarding movement of students and of course the gathering of large groups, we've had to make the difficult decision to complete our summer transition programme once again as a virtual event. However, I strongly believe that we will be able to offer some face-to-face -face transition before the start of the new academic year in September, and we'll be providing details of that later on this evening. For now, our virtual transition event will signpost the support in place for all of our Year 9 students, and we have a series of live presentations, or at least that was the plan, recordings and publications to follow, which will help guide you through the initial process of transition. You'll be introduced uh, to key members of staff, those integral to the transition uh, process for all of our students as they enter year nine. And we will provide here a comprehensive outline of all of those plans over the coming weeks and the months ahead. Our aim is to ensure that all of our young people joining us have a seamless and positive transition and that we're here to help and support each of you through that journey. In September, I'm very much hoping that I'll be able to invite you through the doors of the Academy so that parents and carers can meet their child's tutor and review their first few days and weeks at King's. And I personally look forward to being able to meet you all and finally speak to you all in person. Until then, well, my thanks for joining us this evening and once again apologies for the difficulties that we've had. Starting off this evening, uh, there's a, a video that's been put together by two uh, fantastic Year 9 students, Riley and Maddie, and they've created a tour of King's Academy. Hi, I'm Riley. And I'm Maddie. We're both Year 9 students. And welcome to your virtual tour of the Kings of Wessex Academy. This is student reception where you can sign in and out of school and handle an important form. This is where you have important assemblies and go performances. This is King's Cafe where you can buy hot drinks and hot food um, and come and eat lunch with your friends. This is the picture. This is where you can eat lunch or food and socialise with your friends at break and lunch. Um, this is our field where you can come on to break and lunch during summer. Um, we also have food games and stuff like that on here. And we have our apple weekend behind us which we also use for here. This is our English and maths block. In front of me is our English block, behind us is our maths block. This is King's Fitness Leisure. It's not directly part of the school, however, you can use the gym and other facilities after school. This is the performing arts block where we come for performing arts lessons, and we also use it for a number of performances for our
This is the LRC, or Learning Resource Centre. You can come here to take out books or use the dedicated items to help some of your learning. You can also speak to one of the dedicated welfare team if you need to. This is a student welfare and inclusion centre where, where both our chapter is based and also a lot of other welfare staff. This is where we can come and do exciting practicals using blunts and burners, chemicals, etc. This is our DT computer room, which is one of the two rooms. This is where we'll use the computer to do CAD and CAM models and then upload them to our laser script or our CNC machine. This is the student toilets. Uh, this is our music block where you can come if you take GCSE music and you can also have instrumental lessons. This is our art block. This is where you can put art lessons and textile lessons. Up here are our free business studies classrooms, one of which being an IT suite. This is where our three geography classes are. You just take geography or history or both. Thank you for watching our short talk to Kings of West. continue on to the next stages of this evening, I am delighted to introduce Mrs Lewis to you, who is the assistant head teacher responsible for overseeing the whole of transition into King's Academy. Good evening. As Mr Wilkshire said, my name is Kay Lewis and I'm the assistant head teacher here at King's, taking a lead with transition. We are really proud of our school at King's. But it's not just the excellent teaching and learning provision that makes it a great school for our young people. We also have a brilliant and dedicated pastoral and welfare team who work closely with each other to provide caring and compassionate support for all our students, particularly around transition. We have our school chaplain, Ruth Motion, our PFSA, or Parent Family Support Advisor, our inclusion department of Fran Bola and Chloe Wilson, and our learning support department led by Ian Squire Arsenko. The pastoral and welfare team also includes our four heads of house, their deputies and tutors. And I would like to take this opportunity to introduce them to you tonight, albeit via virtual means in the following video introduction. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Avalon House. My name is 
Mr. Coles and I'm the head of Avalon and we're looking forward to uh, receiving you into our house next year. Our house motto is above and beyond. That's what we do here in Avalon. We don't simply turn up to school and do the minimum. We go above and beyond and be the very best we can be. And talking about being the very best you can be, let me introduce you to my colleague, Deputy Head of House. Hi there, I'm Mr. Sandifer, I'm a teacher of PE. Uh, I'll be supporting Mr. Coles uh, for Avalon House. And if you want to come and find me with any queries, any problems, uh, I'll be over in the PE office. Hi, I'm Mr. James. I'm the head of Camelot House and I'm really looking forward to seeing you when you arrive in September. And this is my deputy head of house. Hi, I'm Mrs. Armitage. Um, I am a cover supervisor here at King's um, and you will find me in the mostly located in the staff room. Mitchell, Head of Household in Tadjul. I teach business studies at King's and if you want to find me in my office then it's upstairs next to the history classrooms. This is our Deputy Head of House. Hello my name is Mrs Angus, I'm a teacher of biology and science. If you need to find me I will be up in the science block, probably in the science prep room or at my lab which is B3. Hello, my name is Mr. Rigg. I am head of Leoness House and I'm also a cover supervisor, which means that I might teach any of you any of your lessons. Um, you can find me in my office, which is in the languages block. And I am Mrs. Grant, I'm deputy head of house for Leoness. I'm also a cover supervisor, which means that sometimes through your first term you are very likely to have me teaching you. I can be found when I'm not covering lessons in the staff room and we look forward to welcoming you in September. to have to postpone our transition day event for year eight this half term but we are delighted to be able to announce to you this evening that we will be offering year eight a transition program during the last week of the summer holidays from tuesday the 31st of august until friday the 3rd of september each house will have a dedicated day during this week where students will be able to meet their head of house their tutor have a tour of the site to familiarize themselves with key areas and complete some taster lessons. Avalon House will start the week off on Tuesday the 31st of August with Camelot on Wednesday the 1st of September, Leoness on Thursday the 2nd of September and Tintagel on Friday the 3rd of September. Attendance of these transition days is not compulsory. But we would obviously love to see as many of our new students here as possible, though we do appreciate that during the school holidays families make or have already made plans that mean they may be unavailable. We will be writing to you in due course with further information regarding the days and we will be asking for confirmation of attendance if you would like your child to attend. Further in the transition process, tutors will also be contacting you with a phone call to introduce themselves and answer any questions that you may have. These calls will take place before the summer break between Tuesday the 6th of July and Thursday the 23rd of July. On our website is also our dedicated transition page, which goes live tomorrow and includes further information around transition, such as our transition magazine, which includes key staff and subject area information, and the link to view our presentation from this evening. We understand how important the transition process is to both parents and students. And as such, we would now like to share with you our transition information presentation that covers further detail around key school topics such as uniform, attendance, employability and our enrichment programme. Hello there. My name is Richard Coles and I'm head of Avalon House here at Kings of Wessex. And it's my privilege to welcome you to this parent information presentation evening. Our aim this evening is to provide you with some key information regarding Kings and details around attendance, our core values, our uniform, our enrichment opportunities and our employability. 
We're really excited that this September at King's, we'll be welcoming around 250 young people coming up into our school. They will be divided into 10 tutor groups between one of four houses. And our houses, as you can see displayed on the screen, are Avalon, which is my house, Camelot, Leoness, and Tintagel. And this is so important because the house system is absolutely integral to the King's vision. And each house has a number of lower school groups, of which year nine are some, and of course, some sixth form tutor groups. Much like a, a mini school within a school, with a head of house and a deputy head of house. And through the house system, students participate in lots and lots of school events, including sports days, focus days, employability days, and extended tutor time activities. And of course, there is also our coveted House Cup competition, where the houses compete against one another to achieve the most house points and to be known as the best house in all of Kings of Wessex. Closely linked to the house team is our welfare team and our brilliant tutors. Tutor groups are an integral part of King's. Each tutor group has a mixture of students from Fairlands and Hugh Sexies and sometimes students from other schools. Students spend about 20 minutes each morning with their tutor group from Monday to Thursday, either in their tutor bases or in an assembly. And on Friday, we have an extended tutor time for 40 minutes. Students follow a bespoke program of learning during their tutor time using the AQA GCSE citizenship course. Tutor time also covers areas around RSHE, that's relationships and sexual health education, careers and employabilities, and our weekly thought for the week activities. If you need to contact the academy regarding your child, your son or daughter's tutor should always be the first point of contact. The Year 9 tutor team is a group of dedicated and professional members of staff, and it's their primary purpose to support their tutees academically and in their personal development. And students usually stay in the same tutor group with the same tutor until the end of Year 11. And so communication between students tutors and parents is vital, a key to ensuring that everyone enjoys their time at King's and succeeds in all they do whilst they are here. You should have already received contact information about your child's tutor in the welcome letter. Here at King's we are proud to have an excellent welfare and well-being team who work closely with the heads of house and form part of the wider pastoral support that is available for all King's students. Students can be referred for support from our school chaplain, Ruth Motion, and our ELSA, LSA, Miss Watson, via their head of house. Our inclusion team work with some of the most vulnerable students to support them in their learning and well-being, whilst Mr Squire, our SENCO, supports our students with SEND needs and leads a team of dedicated learning support assistants. At King's, we're so proud of our values that we've called them our five pride values. The P stands for positivity and perseverance. The R stands for respect and reconciliation. The I stands for integrity and innovation. The D stands for democracy and diplomacy. And the E stands for equality and empathy. These values feed into all areas of King's life, not just academic, but through enrichment, extracurricular, welfare and pastoral support. And we have a clear respect code of contact that encourages respectful behaviour from all students towards themselves, their peers and all school staff and the school environment. Closely related to our respect code of conduct and pride values is our behaviour for learning policy. We believe all students should have the opportunity to learn successfully without disruption and as such we have high levels of expectations for students' behaviour in the classroom. By behaving in a reasonable and mature manner, by respecting themselves, others and their school staff, 
students at King's can take every advantage of the excellent teaching and learning, enrichment and extracurricular provision on offer. At King's, we believe that good attainment is closely linked to good attendance. We often see firsthand the impact of absence on our students, not only academically, but also socially and pastorally. And so we want to work supportively with parents and students to ensure that any student who may struggle with school attendance is supported effectively. We would anticipate that our Year 9 students would have attendance rates of 98% or higher, which would be a fantastic cornerstone for the building blocks needed for their GCSE studies. Absence should only be for illness or bereavement, and the procedure for reporting absence will be outlined in your A to Z for parents. If your child has a medical appointment, we ask that we are informed of this ahead of time, either via the tutor or the main office. Students will need to sign out at the main office and then sign back in on their return to school. And the benefit of regularly and closely monitoring students' attendance makes it possible to reward those who maintain 100% attendance, a superb achievement. If at any time you are concerned about your child's attendance, then in the first instance, please contact the tutor. Students are required to be in school by 8.40 a.m., with registration beginning at 8.45. It is important that students arrive on time for school each day and also get to their lessons on time throughout the day. Students are not allowed to go off site into the village during the school day and when arriving by school transport, they must remain in school once their bus has dropped them off. Uniform is an integral part of being at the King's Academy. Our uniform gives all our students a sense of belonging to their school and their individual houses with their house colours on ties. Uniform creates a sense of identity for students as members of the school and the local community. As such, at King's, we have high expectations regarding the way students present themselves. The details of our uniform policy are outlined in the parent A to Z, and the uniform guidelines are included in your welcome pack. We would ask that you would read the uniform guidelines carefully to ensure that uniform is correct for the start of the academic year. And if you have any questions, do contact your child's tutor using their email address, which you'll find with your welcome letter. Our uniform supplier is Dean's, who is located on the High Street in Cheddar. You can purchase the school blazer, skirt, and schoolhouse tie alongside trousers and shirts and the PE kit, all from Dean's. School mid-grey trousers and white shirts can also be purchased from other retailers. At King's Academy, students earn house points through their good behaviour, attendance, punctuality, work and effort, community citizenship, enrichment, extracurricular and school leadership opportunities. Our round table awards reflect our celebration of students who have worked hard in all areas of their King's experience and these are awarded at our end of term celebration assemblies. We also have great opportunities for student leadership at King's with our house and school councils alongside our house and school captain teams. Throughout the school year there is an opportunity for students to be house reps and work with our student leadership team to create and develop projects that are based on student voice and feedback about areas of the school they wish to enhance for the benefit of all. Life at King's is busy and varied. Our diverse enrichment programme helps to foster positive well-being, giving students the opportunity to try new and varied activities that may not fit strictly into the curriculum, but that develop character, resilience, motivation, and encourage students to pursue wider goals. Our programme also offers many benefits for mental health, as well as educational, social and leisure activities that are all important contributors to mental stimulation, as well as the social benefits of a varied enrichment offer. They help to teach life skills that benefit young people beyond the classroom 
and develop an anticipation for cultural and community issues, teamwork and social responsibility. In September, students will be invited to attend a King's Freshers' Fair at lunchtime. During this session, they will find out what enrichment activities are on offer for the year. Activities may include things such as cookery club, debating club, mass club, chess club, dance club, house council, Duke of Edinburgh award, anime and card society, art and textiles club, girls football, sport, big band, choir, big pitch, history, mystery club, orchestra, computer club and lots, lots more. We have an excellent employability and careers service here at King's. All year groups have dedicated time, both in tutor times and during our focus days to work on employability matters. From learning about how their many and varied skills and talents can lead to their dream job, to visiting our career fair and career cafes, to our one-to-one -one employability support meetings with Miss Devlin, our employability coordinator, and access at lunchtime to our brand new employability hub, our students are well prepared for thinking about the years and the careers to come. We have a range of guest speakers who come into school to deliver workshops and assemblies and our year 10 and students are supported through valuable work experience. Thank you for listening to our presentation today. May I take this opportunity to remind you about our year 8 transition days that Mrs Lois mentioned earlier in our live address. Avalon House students will be welcomed here at King's on Tuesday the 31st of August, Camelot students on Wednesday the 1st of September, Leoness students on Thursday the 2nd of September and Tintagel students on Friday the 3rd of September. There will be further information sent to you in due course with details of timings and how to let us know that your child can attend. We are so pleased to be able to offer Year 8 a transition day and hope that many of our new students will be able to join us, their heads of house and their new tutor, to get to know the school. We would also like to remind you that you will be receiving a phone call from your child's new tutor from between the 6th of July and the end of term. If there is any part of today's parent information evening that you have missed or you'd like to view again, then please follow the link that was sent to you in your welcome letter. Thank you once again for your time and we are excited to welcome your child into our King's family. Uh, thank you once again for joining us this evening and once again my apologies for the disruption caused uh, by tonight's technical difficulties. We very much are looking forward to welcoming you all into King's Academy and to uh, finally be uh, making contact with you over the coming weeks ahead. My thanks to you all and good evening.